there are many frameworks and each framework was designed for a specific purpose uh, if you look at pci for example pci was defined by the card industry for protecting card information only but that does not limit it from protecting only card information it protects almost the whole in, whole enterprise similarly if you look at hipaa or glb or sox each one of them had a very specific purpose and the main reason is that's the reason there are a lot of overlap now if you look at the it industry it it industry where india has has, has a big contribution to it we actually don't have a framework yet which actually does that and that's where dsci came in so initially dsci was formed to create a framework for the it its industry so that they can provide better services more secure services to their customers outside right uh, because as you know that most customers outside in in, in the west and also in the east like japan they are very very uh, conservative or they 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 actually want to be compliant to everything that's possible because regulations are a very big thing for them to comply to or else it's difficult for them to do business and that's the reason dsci has come in and created this framework now the beauty of this framework is it's actually not limited to it or its dsci framework answers the question how do i protect my data end of story that's about it it's not saying that okay this is a credit card data so i need to protect it this way this is probably my health insurance data i need to protect this way. no dsci the framework says you have some data belonging to you or to your customer how are you going to protect it and i would say it's a very overarching framework uh, i would say very similar to iso 27001 for example now iso 27001 has some challenges in the setup because again security is a very small part of it it is more related to infrastructure management than security DSCI tries to fill in that gap the DSCI framework rather tries to fill in that gap the idea is to make sure that data is protected and i mean to give you another example in most industries the core applications are very well protected now what do you mean by protecting the application you're just protecting the user access to it the key thing that you really need to protect is the data stored in that application now that is protected when it's in the core database for example So the moment i pull out that core data from the database and put it in an excel sheet the protection goes away how do i protect that that is the key part how that's something which dsci is trying to address what companies don't do that with what they should do uh, it's consolidation of compliance is itself so most companies today are focusing on consolidating the server footprint right the most companies are today working on consolidating their infrastructure investments like smaller offices moving to a one large office similarly they should do something for the compliance too right because as i said if you end up doing one compliance at a time you will be spending a lot more money than you would doing all of them together under a much bigger a much uh, wider umbrella so talking of use cases for example now if you look at the retail industry so most of the retailers sell products from many vendors now each of these vendors have their own compliance right so for example now many retailers sell alcohol alcohol has a very stringent regulation in place in india itself many retailers sell tobacco or cigarettes very stringent regulation in place many retailers also in the same shop they also sell medicines they also sell gold silver shoes clothes everything each of this has a very stringent specific regulation coming from that particular industry like the pharma industry has its own regulation right you should not be handing over drugs which are prescription only to over the counter I mean, not giving it to people without prescription you should not be giving alcohol or cigarettes to people who are under 18 you should not actually have an alcohol shop within 100 meters of a school so these are regulations which are already in place how can a retailer who is probably has one head office and running retail shops all over india and probably beyond can keep track of each of these locations he can't he is it's physically impossible to do it so that's where archer comes in archer will actually give you a view of what compliance is what regulations are applicable to what products to which geographies right so alcohol is prohibited in gujarat for example but it's not in west of india all those kind of things how can i keep as a retailer how can i have a view of my compliance regulations of the risks that i'm running because i'm running a shop which has so many items and keep track of all of that and that is what archer does another example would be the insurance organization for example insurance companies they do life insurances they do general insurance they do also corporate or group insurance now insurance organization has regulations of its own right either run by irda or the government indian government bodies but 
whenever they do corporate insurance or group insurance where they are let's say insuring the complete workforce of an organization the organization also will enforce some regulations now this regulations might be same similar or very different from what they already doing so now i have the headache of managing multiple regulations at the same time just like for retail industry where i have like hundreds of regulations for each of the products and each of the probably the companies which are selling stuff to me uh, similarly insurance now starts facing each of the corporate customer they have has its own set of regulations and they need to adhere to it or they lose business so how do i keep track of all these various uh, regulations at the same time and still make sure that i'm not going crazy probably right or i'm not spending a lot of money because if you look at it if you were to address every regulation one by one that is let's say if you think of pci first and then you enforce pci then you think of socks and then you enforce socks and then you so many of these uh, regulations actually have an overlap actually a big overlap right and just because you're going compliance by compliance or regulation by regulation you end up spending almost 150% more money that is almost one and a half times more money than you would have spent so that is what archer is going to consolidate for you so if you are talking from an roi perspective archer can reduce the roi but exactly telling you that okay if you are putting this control in place this is the control which you want to enforce these are the four compliances that you are already adhering to you need not do the same control all over again so you are going to reduce money you are going to consolidate your controls in that manner